One of the many benefits of choosing Swiss Tracks modular flooring is your ability to create a custom design. With our 3D Floor Designer program, it's never been easier. This short tutorial is going to guide you through the basic process and offer a few tips and tricks along the way. To get started, just hover over the Floor Designer option located at the top of the SwissTracks.com homepage and click 3D Floor Designer. This program works on all devices, but for this tutorial, I'll be using my desktop computer. Now, if it's your first time using the designer, you'll want to create an account first by clicking sign up. This will allow you to save your designs, view pricing, even order your floor when your design is ready. So once you've signed up, let's sign in and get started. All right, so for this example, we're going to be creating a design just for an average rectangular two-car garage floor. We want the tiles to cover the entire floor space. We call this a wall-to-wall -wall layout, and by default, that option will already be selected here at the bottom. Now, if you're simply wanting to create a pad of flooring within a larger floor space and you don't need the tiles to go all the way to the walls, you can toggle over and click pad before selecting your floor shape. This is going to add in edges and corners around the entire perimeter and adjust your tile count accordingly. Again, we're going to switch back over to walls for this example and select our rectangular floor shape. All right, so now we're able to adjust our floor size and we're going to doing we're going to do that by clicking, holding and dragging these red arrow boxes here. And as you can see here from my screen, you may need to zoom out a little bit uh, to fully adjust your floor size. All right, so once your floor size has been adjusted accordingly, we're going to click the next step down here, which is adding in doors and windows. So to select our options, we're going to click the red plus sign. Again, to keep it simple for this particular tutorial, I'm only going to add in a garage door. So I'm just going to click the image here of this double door. And as you can see, it's added that in right to the top of my design. If you did want to add in more doors or windows, again, just click the red plus sign and repeat those steps. You can even adjust the wall color here, really creating a space that looks very similar, very much like your garage space you're trying to recreate, which is a really neat option. All right, so once we are ready to proceed, we're going to click the next button. And now here comes the fun part. So this is the step where we're gonna choose our tile styles, our colors, our patterns. Now the floor designer has done all of the work here um, from a calculation standpoint, and it's added in the exact amount of tiles needed to cover my floor space based on those measurements that we put in. Um, now by default, the Rib Tracks Pro tiles will be selected. But if you wanted to change the tile style uh, throughout your entire floor, you're going to do that by clicking the tile image up here in the top left. Again, top left corner is going to change the tiles throughout your entire floor. So if you wanted to change your tile style, just select the one that you would like to change to and be sure to click select tile down here at the bottom to actually approve your selection. Again, we're going to keep it here for the Rib Tracks Pro for now. All right, so if you aren't really quite sure what you want to do design-wise and you want to get some inspiration, we do have some patterns that are pre-designed in the program. So again, up here in the top left, we're going to click the image of this little floor grid and we've got some patterns that will populate. See if something catches your eye. What's great about all of these patterns is they're all able to be modified. You can change both the colors. You can also adjust the pattern, um, which I'm going to show you how to do here in just a moment. But uh, let's go ahead and do this kind of uh, plaid checker variation pattern up here. Um, but say, for example, you like this pattern, but you're not so fond of the colors and you want to adjust the colors throughout the floor. We're going to click the pattern image again up here in the top left, and now we can adjust the colors. So maybe instead of yellow, we'd like to see black tiles there, right? Maybe instead of blue, we want a red accent. Maybe we want to brighten up that gray a little and do our light pearl silver. You get the idea. Um, so whatever you select, it's going to change it throughout the entire pattern. Okay, so now if you wanted to 
further modify your floor on an individual or single tile basis, now we're going to move over to the top right hand corner. So in the top right hand corner, this is where again, you can adjust just the individual or single tiles. So perhaps you want to change the tile style and do a small section of your floor in a different tile style. So if you click the image up here, it's going to show you the compatible tile styles that will work with the Rib Tracks Pro. So perhaps we want to create a little area here in the back for like a gym space, right? Maybe we want to do our Rib Tracks Smooth Pro in that area. So we click on Rib Tracks Smooth, we select the tile, don't forget to click that, and now we have our Rib Tracks Smooth. Again, if you want to change the color um, from white, maybe we want to do our black just to kind of flow with our design. Now any tile that you click, it's going to change that specific tile to rib tracks smooth in the black. Let me show you a quick little tip or a quick little trick if you want to select a multiple grouping of tiles really quick and easy. Again, up in our top right hand corner, you see this little button here that says move. It's set to move as a default. So if you click and hold anywhere on the design, it's just going to move your floor around. But if you want to be able to fill in a space um, within your floor, we're just going to toggle over and click that fill button. Now your floor is locked in place. So if you click and hold, it's actually going to select uh, that entire grouping of tiles, just making it again really fast and easy to highlight and select that multiple grouping. All right, so if you want to be able to check your designer pattern, you can click back to move, maybe want to check it out in 3D to kind of see how that all lays out there, see it from multiple angles. That's how you do it as uh, like so. Again, I'm just clicking, holding, and moving my mouse around to manipulate. All right, so once your pattern and your floor looks exactly the way you want it to look, we're ready to move to the next step, which is adding in our edges. For most wall-to-wall -wall installations, you're only going to need edges across the front where your garage door opening is. So uh, we're just going to click on the front, you can see how there's like a line kind of illuminated around the perimeter. I just clicked on the line at the front and it added in the entire front side of edges. Um, now, if you want to change the color of the edges, you're able to do that as well. Just click color and you can adjust it here. You can also remove individual edges if you needed to. Um, and you can also change your edge color just for a single edge as well if you wanted to. Maybe if you are, say, doing like a checker pattern and you want to alternate, that's how you can do that here. All right. So once we've added in the edges, um, to click to the next step, we can add in some different objects into our garage uh, space. Again, just to bring it to life and make it look more like your own garage space at home. So we're going to click the red plus sign to see our options. We can add in vehicles. We can add in cabinets and workbenches. We even got some gym equipment over here. Speaking of gym equipment, we made this wonderful little space here in our rib track smooth uh, to add in, let's say, let's add in our treadmill. All right. So we're going to click to select and then simply position it accordingly. All right, so to deselect, once you have it where you want it, you can just click the wall or any of the um, empty space around and it'll deselect. If you want to add in any additional objects, again, we're going to click the red plus sign. Let's go back and add in a vehicle. Let's add in an SUV. All right, so if you want to change the color of the SUV and modify that, you can. Um, we're going to go over here to object color and adjust that accordingly. Let's move it around and take a look. Pretty cool. So you get the idea. Um, very customizable. And when your design is ready to go, uh, final step, we click the next button here, takes us to our final step where we can either save our design, come back to it later, we can also click price request. Now the price request is going to send our design to one of our knowledgeable flooring experts. Um, they can provide you with an estimate. They can answer questions that you may have about your tile styles or your design in general. You can also click print. If you click print, it's going to take you to a... Um, product list where you can see your itemized report of all of the tile quantities, colors, 
um, edge pieces that are included and it's also going to uh, show you the full retail pricing for the flooring just a great little overview for you to see what you're looking at here um, and then if you like what you see and you're ready to place your order you can simply click this red checkout button and purchase your brand new Swiss tracks flooring well hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope it offered you some tips and tricks to make your designing process a little bit easier uh, thank you so much for looking into Swiss tracks happy designing and we hope you enjoy your floor <laughs>